Hello, and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dentures. Today we are at Penny Ann's. We're going to have a chicken fried steak and eggs over medium with wheat toast and hash browns. Enjoying my first giant cup of coffee. And uh, I hope this camera is pointing at me accurately. I really won't know until I get home and edit this video. I am wearing my new dentures and I will show you that when it's time to begin the meal. I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, so my food just got here. I'll see if I can show it to you. Let me tilt the camera down here. I can't tilt it down very far, but there's my chicken fried steak, my eggs, my potatoes, and my wheat toast. So, I'm going to throw a little salt and pepper on my food, and I'll get to eating. Now, like I said, I am wearing my new dentures today. And, yeah, I know, that's a lot of salt, but that's the only sodium I get in my diet. I don't eat canned food anymore, I don't eat processed food, no potato chips, no nothing. And as I've stated in the past, my doctor has been riding me about getting my sodium levels up where they need to be. Because when you cut out all the processed foods, your sodium levels are greatly reduced. You have to eat more salt. You don't realize how much sodium they put in everything, including candy. So, once again, nothing in the bottom. <laughs> nothing in the top. These are my new dentures. And again, I have a glass of ice water and I have to remember to take a drink every so many bites so that I don't throw my dentures out of my mouth like I did in a previous video because with these thin dentures while I'm eating something hot the dentures loosen up they get they expand really fast with the heat and then they want to fall right out of my mouth, so I always have to take some cold. The mm. meat toast is a little bit dry. That's okay, I can deal with it. Thank you very much. Let's try the chicken fried steak. That's pretty hot. I can feel that upper dental loosening up. Boom. Now it's tight again. It's amazing when you have thinner dentures. You can do this experiment at home. Take a couple of bites of something hot and feel your dentures are loose. If you're not wearing adhesive. If you're wearing adhesive, you're not going to notice this. If you're trying to go adhesive free, when you take a couple of bites of something hot, you'll notice your dentures feel a little loose. Take a drink of something cold, kind of swish it around a little bit, hold it in your mouth for a minute. You'll feel that denture tightening back up. Simple laws of thermi thermos. Heat makes things expand, cold makes them contract. Hmm. I 
honestly, I can't tell you how long it's been since I've had fried potatoes. Very good. Another bite of chicken fried steak. Excellent server, waiter. So far, this toast is the most difficult thing to eat. Can I get some uh, some butter? Please. Thank you. That toast is very dry. Nothing against Penny's restaurant here, but the toast is very dry. I gotta have some butter on it. Thank you. Make it go down a little easier, you know. So, this is my very first time eating in this restaurant. I really like these potatoes. Very good. You know, not everything you have to eat, not everything you eat has to be a challenge. My upper denture is getting loose again. So I'll rinse my teeth and pull my denture down at the same time. If you just hold that cold liquid in your mouth, you'll feel those dentures tighten right back up again. Much better with the butter. So that was just a rinse under the bottom denture there. For some reason, I still keep getting food under that lower. That's because it's thinner and my lip doesn't press as tight against it. So I was saying, not everything you eat has to be a challenge. 
Some things you eat can just be regular food that you put in your mouth, take small bites. You'll know if you took too big a bite. And at that point, just take smaller bites. Toast is much better with butter on it. You'll notice it's still pretty dense toast. I'm using my bottom lip to press against the denture. Trying to keep my arm out of the way of the camera. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me eat this whole meal. You get the idea. Even if your food is not real hot, just the action of chewing and putting food in your mouth warms up your mouth. You should still have something cold on hand. Now, eventually, when I had to do that when I was first learning how to use my original dentures. So eventually, I will get to the point where I can just eat everything I want with my new dentures, and I won't have to focus that hard on my techniques. Something keeps getting under that bottom denture. Right? I think it's still under there. It's kind of bothering me. So, take the bottom denture out, hang it under the table, wipe it out with a napkin. As far as anybody else is concerned, I just wiped my mouth. They don't know what I'm doing under the table. Then I'll rinse my mouth. Along the bottom. And then I'll just put the denture back in and act like I'm wiping my mouth again. See? Now there's nothing under that bottom denture bottom. So, that's a technique that I developed when I originally got my dentures.
And if you're not using adhesive, you can do that sitting right at the table. Because it's the lower denture that everybody fights with. It's the lower denture that gets food under it. It's the lower denture that comes loose while you're eating. It's the lower denture that flops around when you're not using adhesive. The lower denture is a problem for 99% of people. I am going to finish this amazing meal. If I can quit spelling it on myself. And I will see you in my next video.